Okay, I wanted to do a quick video of my brand new, I just got it today, CZ457 Jaguar 22 long rifle. This one's a really tough one to find on the internet unless, or certainly to find in English, but uh, this one I've been looking at for quite a long time. I've been trying to get a hold of, well, not this model. I was looking at the 452 and the 455. This one's a 457. Um, as you may know that 457 this year came out with a threaded barrel which is pretty great got my mask on there right now um, here's what came with it in the box it just came with the manual it's got a thread protector which I put my mask on as you know came with this little target here and the warranty card no lock came with a 10 round mag uh, then of course the bolt was wrapped up individually um, I'll kind of give you you know I a little close-up on each piece here I'm sure I'm ready to take this thing out and shoot it looks like we got all the way out to 200 meters let's see if that'll focus There we go. I really wanted this model because I really want to start shooting with iron sights, or specifically these iron sights. I've got some other 22s, but um, I've watched some old videos of the 455 and the 452 with people shooting with these sights and do a pretty good job. And so I'm interested to practice with them. What's neat about this one is it comes with fiber optic front sight. See that there? Pretty neat. Should make it a little easier to see. But, uh, pretty great looking rifle. Um, it is half by 28. Let's see if I can peel this off of here. Oh, maybe I got it on there a little too tight. There we go. Half by 28. Threads look really good. Real nice and solid. I'll just throw the thread protector back on there. This is how I'll probably shoot it for a little while. I'd really like to see how it sounds like this I've heard uh, and watched some videos of these longer 28 inch barrels are a little bit quieter just due to you know burning up all that powder before the round leaves the barrel so they're a little bit quieter as is I imagine putting the suppressor on there will just make it sound like a pellet gun which as you can see I got some pellets here because I do shoot pellet guns as well Yeah, let me bring this over here to the bed so you can show you this side. There's the box. But uh, here, I haven't taken any stickers off yet. It does come with these swivel mount, these mounts for your sling. There it is, 457 Jaguar. Come on, focus. Now mine did come a little bit damaged out of the box, as you can see here. I may have to reach out to CZ about that or my FFL who I picked it up from. I did take some photos of this, but for some reason, right underneath here, I've got some little bit of wood damage. Um, you know, and I couldn't really tell. I mean, in the box, it rests up against my box has got some damage, so it definitely went through some went through a beating and shipping I guess but that part of the stock is resting against this uh, and the bolt was in this little bag right underneath it so I mean it's possible it was banging up against it at different times but 
I don't know, it's pretty surprising that that happened. And even my bag where it was caught on the bag, let's see if you can see this. The bag shows a little bit of damage there right where the stock was resting too. So let me reach out to someone about that and see if I can't get a stock. But if not, it's not that too big a deal. I mean, not gonna impact too much. Did come with a 10 round mag and it is metal. It's got plenty of lube on it, oil on it. But uh, metal housing, metal trigger. Boy, the trigger felt great too. I put in some snap caps and pulled the trigger and man, it felt great. So I'm excited to shoot it. Let's see what that says. 22LR. Let me say 12GR half by 28. That's pretty neat. That is a cool, cool rifle. I'm real excited about it. Man, look at that. Long barrel. There we go. Get down to the end. Now, I'm new to this video and stuff, as you can probably tell. But uh, I'll take it out and shoot it, and maybe I'll show you how it turned out and how it shot. Maybe I'll just take it out, take the camera out with me, and show you how I do. But for all those who wanted to know, here it is. That's her. It is real. They are sending these, shipping these in uh, with the threaded barrels. Pretty excited about it. <clears throat> to put her back up here. I had thought about getting the uh, the area mount, area 419, and putting on that dovetail and getting an optic for it, but uh, I'm gonna try these sights out for a little while before I decide to get into an optic on it. I think it'll be fun shooting with the sights. But uh, yeah, comment below if you'd like to see something else and or something with this rifle and I'll try to figure it out, but as you know with the 457 or maybe you don't but they switched your safety to this american style push and pull safety which is pretty nice and it's got a little chamber indicator or it lets you know if you're cocked or decocked here but uh, area what is it area 419 or something they also sell uh replacement um bolt handles here too you can replace this ball and put a nice ergonomic uh, throw on there which would be real nice I might do something like that okay well there she is hope y'all can get you one pretty neat I think I guess I can tell you that I think I ended up paying about 508 after taxes got a really good dealer down here got a little deal on it not too I mean ain't the worst deal but it certainly ain't the Probably ain't the best deal. These may be a little cheaper later on, but right out the gates, it was tough to find and came out at about 475 plus tax. But there she is. Y'all come back now.